Hola, hola. Let's talk about some things that are happening in the news that are super important. The people in Congress have four different things going on, and I'm going to present them to you in the order, like calendar wise, which one is most important. I am Silvia Salazar from Tono Latino. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss any of my content. The most important thing that they had on their to-do list was avoiding a government shutdown because funds were gonna end on September 30th. So they had to find enough votes to avoid the government shutting down as of 1201 October 1st, which was Friday. They did. They've now pushed that out until December 3rd. So this is gonna continue. This is gonna happen again in December, but for now, the government is not shutting down. The second deadline that they have on the horizon is mid-October, October 18th to be precise, is the date that Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said was the day that the U.S. would have no more money to pay for its current debts. Um, that is all related to the debt ceiling. That is a fight going on in Congress between Democrats and Republicans, and it's a little bit ridiculous because the Republicans are acting like children. Now, it's important to highlight that the debt ceiling is about getting enough money to pay all the expenses that you already incurred. So all the things that you already, you know, promised you would pay for, not about making plans to spend money in the future. And the thing is that the, these expenses are what pays military salaries, social security checks, uh, child uh, tax credits, and a ton of other things. So the Republicans saying, you know what, Democrats, you're on your own, you're gonna have to figure this one out, is absolutely ridiculous, but obviously not surprising. And then there's two other things that I've already talked about, uh, and you can watch more here if you want me to explain in depth, but it's basically Joe Biden's Build Back Better agenda that was divided into two pieces. One is a smaller package, the 1.2 trillion bipartisan traditional infrastructure deal, which would include roads, uh, upgrades to airports, upgrading our broadband infrastructure, etc., And then a bigger plan that would be $3.5 trillion if continues as planned. And that one is what some people call soft infrastructure. It invests a lot more money into lowering childcare costs, providing two free years of community college, um, lowering prescription drugs, lowering Medicare, and all of those things. And the key thing about the $3.5 trillion plan is that it would primarily be funded by making sure that corporations and the ultra-rich pay their fair share of taxes. So those are the four things that Congress is dealing with. But let's be serious, mostly Democrats are dealing with. Now, there are a couple more things in the news. Like I said, the government shutdown has been pushed out, so that's no longer something you need to be worried about, especially if you work in a federal government position. Uh, but there are some good news regarding uh, coronavirus vaccination mandates because they seem to be working. So for example, Tyson Foods back in early August, less than half its employees had gotten their vaccine. Now that they have a vaccine mandate, over 91% of its 120,000 US employees are vaccinated. And we're seeing similar examples with United Airlines having over 90 or 99% of their, their employees uh, vaccinated. Very few people have had to be terminated or have left their employer because they do not want to get vaccinated. If you like this video, visit tonalatino.com to sign up for my newsletter and get a ton more information that helps you be better informed but less overwhelmed about US politics.